So I've been coming out of the last three days, we've been at the American Heart Association meeting where we've presented the results of this landmark study. The study shows a 25% re reduction in cardiovascular events. This is on top of statin therapy. The overall reception of this from physicians at this conference has been amazing. People are referring to it as the most significant advance in preventative cardiovascular care since statin therapy uh, 30 years ago. We believe in our data. We've presented our data at American Heart Association. It's important to have data subject to scientific debate. It's also been subject to uh, review and publication by the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, we stand behind the, the results and the published results in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, and believe that uh, this is a therapy which is well positioned to help millions of patients. Do you see that question being a bit of a hiccup for you guys in terms of uh, the research community? Will they still have questions about the effectiveness of the drug, or do you think that this is a stock overreaction? I think as people begin to understand our data better, they will appreciate that this drug does much more than lipid modification. Uh, we're talking about uh, you know, questions in a placebo arm using mineral oil. Uh, that's an agent that was a reviewed and approved by the FDA you know, going into this uh, study. Uh, the reviewers from the New England Journal of Medicine concluded that the uh, mineral oil is inert and couldn't have uh, explained this significant uh, result. We encourage people to understand our results uh, better and look forward to helping many patients with these results. So your drug costs about $2,400 a year, which compared to other new cholesterol drugs is actually uh, a lot lower. Some of the PCSK9s, this new class of cholesterol drugs, cost $6,000 after discounts. When we had you on in September, you said you wanted to keep uh, the drug affordable. Are you going to change the price or will you keep it where it is? I do think it's important to be affordable. Uh, you know, statin therapies, which were introduced about 30 years ago, have uh, treated more than 30 million uh, patients uh, you know, on an annual basis. Uh, there are as, as many patients who have risks for cardiovascular disease beyond cholesterol management. So we're trying to treat uh, millions of patients. And to do that, uh, we think the drug needs to be affordable. Our current pricing is similar to slightly lower than what statin pricing was before it went uh, generic. And we're proud that this drug not only works well, but is affordably priced. So you had about $82 million in cash as of September 30th, and you're massively ramping up your sales force in order to reach uh, a lot more doctors having these new results. Uh, do you need to raise money? So earlier this year, we raised money, and the money we raised uh, gives us the runway to significantly expand our sales force, which we're doing. We've had over 18,000 resumes for 250 positions in our sales force that we're adding. Uh, and also to get through things like this very important presentation this weekend of the American Heart Association and the uh, publication of these results. So our focus right now is very much on operational execution. Uh, we think we're doing well in that regard. John, were you surprised by the market's reaction today? Markets reactions, markets off all, entirely, you know, broad, broadly today. That's always uh, that's always disappointing. You're I think down our 6 execution in a down will. Two percent market. Our, I think that our execution will be recognized by the uh, by, by the marketplace. We can focus in on execution. The drug works. It works well. We're going to help millions of patients.